This is a GCS news break. That's fine. Okay, but now what you're doing is we're doing a split receptacle. These students are learning about welding, wiring, and electrical trades in WWE camp at Southern Guilford High School. This summer camp is one of many brand new offerings for students to continue learning after the school year ends. Today I have students uh, practicing uh, virtual reality welding. They're using uh, MIG and stick welding. My other students are doing the practice for the electrical trades and wiring by doing residential work, installing receptacle switches, stuff like you normally see on a beginning site. The way these are set up, the students are learning how to control the stick, the angle, uh, how close they get to the material, working with different types of welds. Uh, it's either a T or a, what is known as an L bracket or joining two pieces together. Uh, and it's, it's pretty cool. Junior Chris Younce is one of the students participating in the two-week camp. He says he's interested in the trades and learning what goes behind them. He also says the virtual reality welding is harder than it looks. Because it's mainly focused like everything will be perfect and the speed you have to get just right. And that's what everyone's really trying to work on because they've got the angles down, the nozzle plate distance, the arc plate dif di distance. And the only thing that's really setting anybody off is the speed. Sophomore Mary Lee Robles says she wants to become an electrical engineer after high school. She decided to take part in the camp to learn the groundwork first. You learn your hot wires from your neutral and your ground wires. And it's just like you learn the basics of where you connect it to your circuit or, you know, your, your outlet or your switch. For welding, I feel like the most important thing is like the technique. It's because you can't go fast or slow because then it messes up the whole weld. And then it's just the angle of everything, basically. And then with electrical, it, it depends on, you know, you have to learn the basics of everything. So you have to learn what wires what, where it goes. And then I feel like that's the most important part for electrical. Teacher Bruce Lockwood says the skills these students are learning are important, no matter what path they take after high school. And it'll come in handy if they got to replace a switch or want to hang a, a ceiling fan. Uh, they, they understand uh, which wires are hot. Uh, they also understand to test the circuit. Uh, I advise them if they own anything like that, get them a little pocket tester to keep at the house to make sure there's no power on it. And then they can work it or switch it out and do whatever it needs. This has been a GCS News Break.